Pickups are aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this man. guitar is a lot of fun, man, because it it it, it, it does bites. whatever you want it to do. You can dig in <laughs> and make it bite and make it scream, and you hear the you hear the when when you when you kind of dig in, you can like it's like you're digging into the mahogany. It's like <laughs> you're digging yourself a hole. I love it. Uh, that's cool because the. You know, and what I what Larry talks about a lot of times on these is the idea that um, that just imagine this thing ending up in like Peter Frampton's hands and wondering what he thought when he heard this, yeah. thinking that you know it's like like a '71 Les Paul, but on kind like of on steroids, heroin. <laughs> yeah. I mean, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> but you know, necessary, quite necessary, quite necessary. But the thing is, is like just to grab this thing and to feel like, man, this neck is completely different than what it is. You would have been, you know, if you were holding a Les Paul back yeah, in the day. Yeah. There's no comparison. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. I'm not saying it's better, but it's different. It's, I will say it's better to me. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's comfortable. It feels faster. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like a wizard neck that feels so narrow that you can't. No, and you can, like I, like I was saying before, you can get in there and dig, and you can do bends, and they don't choke out, and they, they're there, and the sustain is there. Yeah. So everything that needs to be there is there. Yeah. And, and the excess is gone. And, you know, one <laughs> thing, that, <laughs> the one thing on, you know, having a 24-fret instrument doesn't always mean you have to use all those frets. But the deal is, is it gets the heel down there solo. It's kind of like on an SG yeah. where you, get, you feel like you have the access to your, you know, your 16, 17, 19, 21 mm -hmm. yeah. without even getting, you oh, know. Oh, very comfortably, you yeah. You can do all that stuff. Yeah, so absolutely. That's, you know, a lot of people think, why do I need a, tw a 24 fret guitar? Sometimes that's the reason, well, you know. 21 is good, then 24 has got to be better, right? 24 case, <laughs> beers in a case. <laughs> There's a reason for it, man. A, I yeah. should say Pepsi's. Right. But then what if you have a 12-pack? That'd be a weird guitar. How did we get on Soda Pop? I don't know. Let's get we back generally to tend to have stupid ramblings like that. Yeah. Let me get this stuff out of my pocket. So what's your, what's your whenever you look at this guitar, mm -hmm. we've sold a couple of these. Whenever you, whenever, like, what's the thing that you notice about it that you feel like the most of the tone comes from? You gonna say the pickups? Well, I mean, definitely the pickups are aggressive, um, and they've got that just that bite that I like that I was talking about. But um, I don't know. I think that's a that's a culmination of the whole package: the the mahogany body, um, the string through the yeah the, body. the bridge. The bridge is supposed to be a lot of, you know, a wraparound. Yeah, well, it is. Yes, but it, wrap, it does not on this guitar. Oh, it does not. Through, oh, that's right. And they're stringed through the body, so that's cool. That is it's correct. Got my lint fuzz from my my uh, shirt on it. Nice. So, the one thing that that that's a cool point though is that there's so many things that Paul had to do to get this guitar to sound like this in his garage. You know, he was talking about in a- Well, just think he, about it. It had, to, it had to be better than a Les Paul. Yeah, or why would he have the balls to go into right. the back of an arena <laughs> and say, hey, I'm with the band. And then he runs in and gives it to the guy. It had to look better. It had to, it had to feel better. It had yeah. to sound better. It had to be something different, yeah. but not just different for the sake of being different. It right. had to be, it, he, he went into that arena and knowing that he had to put it in somebody's hand and they had to fall in love with it immediately, or they would have said, imposter, get him out. <laughs> you know, so I mean, and what he was saying about how he carved the neck, you know, he had to string it up 
and then carve the neck, you know. So he's doing it from, you know, an experimental side, yeah. but doing it in real time. Yeah. You know, he yeah. would play it and go, mm, that's wrong. Adjust mm, kind of, yeah, right. You know, and then he'd get each part of the neck feeling right, and then he sanded it, and it was done. Yeah. You know, and to have to go around this thing, so... Well, you know, I think we've talked about these guitars a lot. I think the one thing that we need to do more of is just play them. And play let, them. Uh, play them. Let people hear them. So what are so we going to play? you want to do some clean stuff? Yeah. All right. You do that little thing you were doing a while ago. Oh, that thing? Not that. <laughs> not, it, not any near that. better lead player than you are really. so i'm actually kind of i'm using both pickups i'm in the middle position but what if i go that all is? the way to yeah so if i go to the neck it's even more creamy and buttery put it let's just do this for the for the giggles Man, those pickups are in your face. I know. Even when you're trying to be kind of on the. But like seriously, you do that, and how responsive it is. You can whip one when you want it to kind of add. And that, you know that that's the whole thing about the the responsiveness. So they'll respond. You know, 1975 is still. So these pickups are what he's calling custom LTs. Okay and they reverse engineered the ones that were in there, they were based on a 71 Les Paul, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But he wanted them a little bit hotter. So more turns. More turns. Than a set, yeah. And then bigger magnets, I think. Yeah, I think Something so. Like that. Yeah, I think that's what he said. Yeah, and he was talking about at the factory one day when we were jaw jacking about these guitars, he was talking about how he, he just would find magnets from whatever. You he know, just he had, had a bin, bin of around. like Gibson, yeah, and he just throws Magnets stuff in it, and just try experiment, it. Yeah. yeah, so so it's experimental, experimental. So play something. So this high gain, high gain, high gain. neck pickup is <laughs> that's where it's at that's like <laughs> what all tone should be based off of yeah. i think i mean that's killer man yeah it's got that creaminess but it's also like it's, it's grabbing you by your bits testiculars <laughs> <laughs> your, your bits <laughs> so what about uh what about some just like some blues okay i'm gonna go to like channel two here and
Stevie Ray spank at the, the end. end. The end of it. Yeah. So I think that explores a few tones for people to hear. Yeah, man, this guitar is exciting. It's massive. It's bigger than life. Yeah. It's mahogany. Did you keep one? It's full on hog. Yes, I did. I took the first one I unboxed, which I knew from the pictures that we got at Paul Reed Smith while we were there, that it was the least good top. Uh, I don't want to say the worst because they're all awesome. But you awesome. didn't like cherry pick. Yeah, right? I didn't. They're, I mean, it's mine was the most plain Jane mahogany top. There's two. There are There's two of them that are really, really special. Yeah. And I think one of them may have sold, but the other, the other one's there. And it, but they're all great. I mean, it's for the tone. It's not. I bet you're playing it a lot too, aren't you? Yeah, man. Yeah. I play that, the Silver Sky, and a couple others almost every night. It's so, cool. It's fun. All right, we out. Warmguitars.com. I'm Brett. Rob, peace, he says. Peace of mind. Like my son said the other, my six year old son said the other day, he goes, oh, no. I got to say peace out through the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? He's six. <laughs> His glasses look cool, too. Yeah. Makes him look like you, which I is bad. So, anyway, um, moreguitars.com. Please email us, chat with us, call us. We are here to help. We are not here to be. Um, Aggressive salespeople, no. we are here to help you. We love talking to guitarists. So we're here to answer your questions. We are always here, most of the time. Yeah, we're pretty much here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moreguitars.com. Make sure you subscribe, leave some comments, as long as they're good ones. Come see back and see us.